Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa Cotton and I provide emotional and mental support for new coaches, counselors, content creators, and entrepreneurs. And in today's video, I am doing something totally different. I am doing the what's in my park bag. And this is gonna be a little bit different. It's going to be kind of anxiety addition. So if you haven't checked out my video, 10 tips to manage your anxiety at Disneyland I, or at Disney any theme parks, totally check that video out. We are going to dive in on what is in my park bag. Let's get started. So my park bags have totally evolved over the years. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about my park bag evolving and then I'll dive in what's in my park bag. So uh, back in 2017, this was my go-to bag. We actually got it as a honeymoon gift or as a wedding gift. And it's the Berkeley um, North Face. So it's like actually, it's like the mini and it had like the really nice thick straps, like the leather, super good quality. But the problem with this is it's so big. And so what was happening is I actually got a bag organizer. I was stuffing it too full. And at the end of the day, my shoulders would hurt, my muscles would hurt and it just was, I was just feeling it too much. And I'm sure there's people, you might even be thinking to yourself, well, why did you just not stuff it as much? And if you've ever experienced anxiety or if you ever had anxiety that you know that you tend to overpack because you're afraid, well, what if this happens? What if that happens and you wanna be prepared? And so this was kind of my go-to bag for a long time. But I have retired this. This is now my hiking bag where I actually need to pack more things. So this is where I keep like my bear spray, um, I've got like a hiking like mat, stuff like that. So this is now my hiking bag and no longer my Disney 12 hour park bag. So recently in the last two years, I got into lounge fly bags. Actually, no, not even the last two years, the last year. So this is my first lounge fly bag and I just feel like they have figured out the best park bag because they have the side here where you can put your phone. They have the side here where you can put your phone so you've got easy access to put your phone. Here I have found this is like perfect for grab and go items. It's like the perfect size for grab and go items. And then inside there's just plenty of room inside to store just the right amount of stuff without getting too heavy. So I'm able to carry everything in my bag and have it be enough. So this is actually super cute. It's a little ice cream little ice cream guy with little mini and Mickey sprinkles, so it's super cute. Then I just got this one. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one, but again, it has the side pocket where you can put your phone. <laughs> what I end up doing is put my phone and my husband's phone on the other side, so I kind of keep track of both. But I just have found that the lounge fly bags have just like the perfect amount of space inside to store everything that I have in my park bag. And then on the side, I keep hand sanitizer. And on the side, I made this cute little keychain that has um, chapstick in it for easy access. And so this is what I've got just hanging out. But um, this is what I've got. And then my friend just gave this to me for my birthday. And this is lounge fly, but this is the smallest version of the lounge fly bag. And they don't have any side pockets and inside is a little bit smaller as well. But it still has the front pouch and it still has pretty decent size inside to store everything inside of it. So let's follow me to um, the hotel where I'm loading up my bag and I'm going over everything that I have in my park bag. And then we can also dive in what I have in my park bag that helps me manage and navigate my anxiety. This is me getting ready at the hotel. So I've got my anxiety management bag that I'll go into a little bit more detail later on. My goodie bag filled with snacks and candies. I've got my portable charger that allows me to charge two or three extra charges. My annual pass, some credit cards, uh, water to stay hydrated. I've got my sunglasses when it's really sunny, an extra hair clip, a longer charging cord so that I can have it hooked in my bag. So then I just zip it up and I put my phone in my side and then I'm ready to go to take on the parks. It's super small and convenient to last all day long at the theme park. This is my little pouch that I have in my park bag and I will dive in more deeper of what I keep in my pouch that helps me manage my anxiety at the park. So follow along as we dive into my park bag. 
So let's dive in as I go through my anxiety management bag. This bag is allowing me to access all five of my senses to kind of help me bring myself back to the present moment. Anytime I get overwhelmed or feel a little bit anxious, I kind of grab something that I have in my pouch. So let's get started with all the items. I use noise canceling headphones if it gets too sensory overload and I need to tune some things out. Tissues, of course, you never know when you need them. Sunscreen to kind of help block out the sun. I've got face spray from the body shop, which is really nice to kind of spray and cool off your face, which is going to naturally help you lower your anxiety. I've got mask spray. At the time of the filming, masks were required, but this is also really great just to have just in case you have to go on the bus or the ferry where masks are still required. I've got a fidget that can help I use in line to kind of just channel some nervous energy. I've got some scented hand sanitizer that I can smell to also bring myself back to the present moment in the here and now. I've got a smaller portable charger that I can hold in my hand that does one charge. And then I also have a bunch of other items such as hand wipes and mints and that is what I have inside my anxiety management park bag. That was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about what I keep in my park bag and what I use in my park bag to either manage or navigate anxiety that I might be experiencing in the park. Again, if you want to learn more anxiety tips while you're navigating the theme parks, check out this video here that I've got the 10 tips to manage your anxiety at Disney theme parks, wherever you're out, even social anxiety. I'd love to hear what do you keep in your park bag? Let me know in the comments below what you put in your park bag that helps you take the day on at the theme parks. If you are someone who is struggling with anxiety and you need a little bit of extra support, I would love to work with you. You can definitely book a call to see if I would be a good fit to work with you and if you'd be a good fit to enroll in my online program called Inner Compass Accelerator, where I help you heal and manage your anxiety. So again, if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I release videos out every single Monday. I hope you have a great day.